in a story, the narrator can be nearby or distant from what he or she is describing. First, the narrator can be physically distant from the character. Long ago, in a land far away, lived a magician. This type of narrator often uses the third-person omniscient point of view. In contrast, a narrator can be physically close to the character. Leaves rustled gently outside my window. I closed my book and breathed in the warm, wonderful scent of fresh-baked bread from the kitchen. Because of this closeness, the narrator can express fine sensory details, quiet sounds, light scents, and so forth. Often this narrator uses the first person point of view. But there also is another kind of distance, psychological distance. Sometimes the narrator is psychologically distant from the characters, like a news reporter. The man held his briefcase tightly in his right hand as he stepped onto the train. He spotted an open seat and moved quickly toward it. The narrator knows nothing about what the character is thinking or feeling. Instead, the narrator only focuses on what happens. In contrast, a narrator can be psychologically close to the character, like a mother who cares deeply for her children. Mary felt uncomfortable. She could not stop thinking about what her friend had told her. It confused her and made her worried. Because the narrator sympathizes with the character, what the character thinks and feels often is more important than what is happening. Considering both the physical and psychological distance between the narrator and the characters helps us fully understand the narrative distance within a story.